We feed them. The <laughs> Food is over. Now nah, look at their mouth. Eh. Even though the water is not deep, but it's enough for someone to panic and die. Down. There's not much taste. Yeah. Sea snakes. That. Yeah, I'm sitting in down, down. Hey, snakes. Hey, beautiful buddies. Welcome to this wedding season right now. And today we have um, Lily's cocktail that they came home for some cocktail testing. Actually, mocktails, not cocktails. So they're here and they're making their mocktails fresh. So we have this person here making the sugar syrup and he's here preparing the mocktail beautiful buddies this is the sunrise mocktail this is what it looks like we're going to taste this right now and let you know what it tastes like this is the passion mojito passion richness guys this is pina colada this this is the strawberry colada guys this is the classic mocktail and the wedding function starts today not from home without having breakfast so Kima um, just ordered some chai from Ketchup shop and some snacks here hey beautiful buddies welcome back to my channel it's been a really long while since they came up here <laughs> so they came up here and yeah we're vlogging my Zanzibar trip with my friends say hi hi <laughs> <laughs> their first time to go to Zanzibar and we're gonna go do some new stuff over there that I've not vlogged as yet so make sure you watch till the end and don't forget to subscribe so we are here over at New Africa house we came here for lunch we're so hungry we had initially gone to some other spot but they're closed and now we're here it's also my first time coming here hey beautiful buddies so I am back with my food reviews I ordered pasta ravioli and I'm gonna taste it and let you guys know how it tastes. By the way, this is my first time um, tasting ravioli. Um, it's very green. So it looks like from the inside it has some green stuff. I think that's spinach or something. But yeah. It's really, really good. It's too delicious. Mm -hmm. I love it but the price and the portion don't go well oh it's really good it comes along with this bread and it's so soft guys let me taste it all mm. it's kind of sweet soft classic bun tastes good my friend ordered this calamari and I'm tasting it right now I didn't record it by the way, this came. There's no much taste. Yeah, it's yeah? okay. It's not. It's like bland. I'm trying the tandoori chicken right now. Yeah. Tastes good. We are having our lunch over at Africa um, House Hotel right now. We're here in the boat. We're going to chase the sunset. You know, it's one of my favorite activity to do, so I brought these guys along. So here they are right now. We are going to chase the sunset. Sea snakes. That. Yeah, I'm sitting in down, down. Hey, snakes. Aren't you snakes? I have a lot in my real life. Just like the crew. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot in my real life. Beautiful buddies, for those people that don't know, this is the Eid Fair. It happens every Eid in um, Zanzibar and this is like one of the biggest Eid Fair that ever happens here in Zanzibar. You can find these ice creams here. See, they usually have like toys for like kids like these, like a lot of them. There's like lots and lots happening. We got a mud pedicure. How does it feel being in here? Amazing. I feel famous. Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Beautiful buddies, we came here at the supermarket. Let me just show you all. The town supermarket and it's actually open 24-7. Hey beautiful buddies, we are going to Mnarani Turtles today with Hi. We just reached the Baraka Natural Aquarium and Zoo. We're already here at the turtles um, area. Let me just show you all. Hi guys, this is such a beautiful experience. <laughs> Look at this face. 
this. Oh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> actually feed them these um, leaves. Food is over. Now nah, look at their mouth. Eh? Look at this one. Yo, look at this one. beautiful buddies we are at one of the most convenient spots in here in Zanzibar and that is Kendor Rocks we came here for jet skiing and swimming and to chill so we're eating their burgers right now and Kileta ordered some pizza hey beautiful buddies we are in Fumba town right now we are heading for the safari blue um, trip right now and we just came out from renting our goggles for those that are interested the goggles are available for rent for like 5,000 each here. Beautiful buddies, we're already here. We are going to the booth there. And then we're gonna go for snorkeling and there's gonna be this whole trip thingy adventure happening. As you guys can see, we have to walk all the way there because the water is dried up right now. So this trip actually starts from early morning. It's like around nine right now, almost 10 and you have to come out depends where you live though we came out of home like around 8 30 we had to go get like the goggles to it's like in a different area and then now we're here just waiting for the other people so we can get on the boat and like leave oh we're in the boat we're going to the main boat we're now getting in these boats here Chaotic. <laughs> it's chaotic. We had to come here in the middle of the water because, like, it's so dry there. Now, just look at us with our handbags. And hey, I say, I'm so glad I, I brought, like, yeah, that's why I got this handbag for like what? For the beach because I know water can't get in. And I also have, like, this plastic cover. I hope the video is, like, clear. You see that green boat? That was literally the small boat we got in and we're like 20-25 of us. Imagine, they could have just told us to walk. <laughs> look at that, look at that, look at the way they're struggling, these people. It's so funny, I swear. Even though the water is not deep, but it's enough for someone to panic and die. Morning. Good morning. My name is Harris, okay? okay? I'm going to be with you. Okay. About the many people in the boat, it's about the management. So I'm sorry, guys. Today we're going to that island, Kuale Island. It's called Kuale. Take us like 30 minutes to get there. 30? Yeah, 30 minutes. First, we're going to drop at the sandbank. <coughs> sandbank? First, we go to drop at the sandbank. Sandbank. Make our tent, we have fruits there. Okay. After there, we go to do snorkeling. Okay. After snorkeling, we go to the Blue Lagoon. It's behind the island. After Blue Lagoon, we go have lunch and we see the baobab tree in the island. Okay? So if there'll be enough wind, we're gonna sail, coming back by sailing. If there's no wind, we're gonna use the machine, but we hope to, to sail today because there's enough wind. Okay, so feel home guys, that's the drinks for you, water and soda, okay? About being many people in the boat, it's not about, it's about the management, but now it's fine. You have to make it happen as well as you have to do what they do when you come in there. I'm sorry guys, sorry. So beautiful buddies, this is the sandbank, the one near Fumba. This is a different one from the one I went last time. 
and this is our first stop here. So, what is there to see? Oh, sorry, sir. there are fruits here where they're gonna like cut fruits for us, and we're gonna like have them. Meanwhile, we can like you know, just go like swim and stuff. They're arranging these fruits for us, and we're about to eat. They're very fresh. Mm. I'm actually cut it for you here, prepared for you. Yeah. Actually, nice. Hey beautiful buddies, so right now we're going for the jet ski. Came back from our jet ski experience and it was actually really nice like um, doing it after so long. The last time I did it, I was feeling very anxious, like my experience wasn't the best. And today I was like, let me just go for it and you know, do it alone to you know, just kick my anxiety away. Anyways, it was really, really nice We enjoyed it, it was really fun. Now we want to go for snorkeling. It's Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye so we're done with snorkeling. So the thing about here is there were no um, much fishes like there were when I went to Mnemba if you guys watched my previous vlog. But now gonna go with the Kuponzenia. But like make sure when you come here you come with bread. These people were like they these fishes eat fruit and we hardly got any fishes as you can This is the blue lagoon here, so we're checking out. And we're going to swim. The blue lagoon, guys, we're swimming here. This is what it looks like. It's very slippery down here. Like, I don't know if you guys know the texture of sea moss. That's what it feels like, honestly. It feels very... Hello, <laughs> there's something on you. I was here. Gelato. Gelato. Feet in the turtle. <laughs> This is the seafood plate that you usually get here after you're done swimming and everything. That's like the, that's like the belly. Hey beautiful buddy, so I am done eating right now. Let me just show you guys the island that we're at. The island has these like huts where people sell like um, souvenirs, they sell clothes, they sell some paintings and things like that. So this is like the last spot yeah uh, in this safari blue adventure trip the water here is so clear like you can literally see through everything that's down there you know so right now we're just gonna go uh <clears throat> see the baobab tree so apparently the baobab tree has been here for 500 years right now and that's what we're gonna go see there are huts like these where people you know chill and eat beautiful buddies they came across this um, place here where they actually make their own fabrics this is so like nice so they made these um, they made these fabrics themselves and after that they stitched their own clothes over here he, he is stitching the fabric and that's what was happening actually this is that 500 year old baobab tree this is what it looks like it's massive you can actually go up there 
like take pictures and things like that. I am not sure. You okay? take your shoes. Thank you. Hey, it's cool, huh? To cheer people up. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Captain. I'm a good Captain now. <laughs> captain Philip.